four years to that IT I know now. In 2018, my journey started with JavaScript to make games. I know JavaScript is the last thing you think of when making a game, but trust me, it's great. Uh, I guess. Even though JavaScript beginner tutorials were about websites, that didn't make me rethink my decision. So I had to learn HTML and CSS. Then I tried making whole pages. They looked as if I tried to burn the eyes of people who saw them. When I started coding, I was lazy and I didn't want to learn a lot of theory. In fact, it took me more than a half of the year to understand how four cycles work properly. But I still managed to get a support page, like big companies have. You know, you report a thing and it tells you it was sent, when in fact it wasn't. Hello Google? After getting some experience with websites, I tried making a browser game, with no engine. By the way, I think sound design is fantastic and so deep. Then I found out JavaScript was not for games. And not to waste my knowledge, I decided not to use JavaScript forever again. Then came 2019, and I started to learn Python. Guess what? Also for games. My first Python script was rock, paper, scissors. I made it myself and I was really proud of it. Then I tried Pygame, it's a library for making games uh, in Python, obviously. But I just followed tutorials without learning or understanding much. I was so helpless that I left making games, starting to learn chatbots. And let me tell you, bots are great. What would you make an app and a website if you didn't make a bot? By the end of the year, I got a great PC while working on a brick before. I started structuring the stuff I made, and since then, I have all my projects saved on this drive. 2020 was a productive year for me. The pandemic just helped me to get some more time for development while kicking away some other useless activities like uh, school, you know. I started my first channel about programming, which was first made about bots, later switching into games. I spent time learning Java, which is similar to c -sharp, so it helped me to understand a lot about OOP. And then I started really making games in Unity. I told more about that in my first video. However, you can notice that this way into trying an engine was a pretty long road for me. Maybe I should have spent more time reading what the languages were for before learning them. 2021 was an awesome year too, as my channel went viral among Russian-speaking developers. I tried new content strategies, made more games, eventually forgetting about growth. I burned out. Eventually, I stopped making games for a half of the year. Even though I wasn't working on games, I started learning software from a deeper level. Also, I started doing things with hardware, hearing computer parts, installing operating systems, which never interested me before. 2022 wasn't the best year for me, as it stopped me from learning new stuff for months, as I just didn't have a thing to work with in Austria. I started reading programming books on my phone, trying to learn more advanced stuff I never used before. I coded a simple virus on C, which changed the background of the desktop. And I even tested it on one guy. <laughs> Since I got my first option to work on a desktop, I connect to my PC in Ukraine to work remotely, as it can do a lot more stuff. I'm now making a multiplayer game concept, learning more about how online games work. But even after learning all these things, my main motivation has been making games. So if you want to find out which games I've made so far, click on this video about two years of game development.